setting up job specs. In this video, we're going to set up job specs for an example job that we set up for Belmont Elementary School. We'll assume that I've already read my spec book and I know exactly which materials I'm using. By setting up job specs before performing my takeoff, I'll save a lot of time and have a more accurate takeoff because I will no longer need to check individual boxes in the takeoff process. First, I'll go over to the left sidebar in IntelliBid and click the takeoff dropdown option, and then click the phase tree slash job spec sub option. The phase tree job spec module appears. Go over to the right part of the module and click the assembly groups tab. As a note, Selectable assembly group options appear whenever you are taking off a new item. Before we start to set up the spec, we will choose the phases that will be applicable to this spec. In the lower left corner of the screen, click the Smart Select button. Uncheck the All Phases box at the bottom. For this spec, select Fixtures, Switches Surface, Receptacles, and Receptacle Surface. Make sure you always choose the applicable phases and only the applicable phases. Click OK. You will see that the selected phase folders are now checked. It is important to select only the applicable phases, otherwise it creates a lot of unnecessary records that consume a lot of database space and can affect IntelliBid's performance. Next, we want to add some collections to our phase group list. In the middle of the assembly group section, you'll find the master group collection subsection. These collections include the common item options that we see in the commercial side of the electrical contracting industry. We'll start with the first collection, EMT fittings. In this example, I read my spec book and know that the EMT fittings option that we need is steel compression. So let's select that from the collection option dropdown. Then click add to list over to the right. Next, I'll select the device plates collection. For the option, I want plastic device plates, so we click plastic. Then we click add to list. We'll return to the collections and select the third one, plaster ring depth. For the option, we'll select 5 8 rise, then click add to list. You'll want to repeat the same steps for each relevant collection. In some cases, the collection we want might not be in the drop-down list. In this example, the dimming control wire is not in the collection list. To add that in, we look at the list of assembly group options below, and we see that the dimming control wire is in group number 112. I will double-click on dimming control to get that group moved to the top. Keep in mind that we were not able to set a collection option because of how we added this option to the phase group. That said, now we go to the phase group list at the top. We find the dimming control wire line item and click its plus icon on the left to expand and see more options. We only have one option in this case, size 16, so we'll check off that option. Now that our phase group list is complete, we'll click Apply to Selected Phases to lock them in. As a note, the selectable assembly group options appear as checkboxes whenever you are taking off a new item. Next, we want to move on to setting up our takeoff prompts. Click on the Takeoff Prompts tab. The takeoff prompts are common questions that you typically get asked while performing takeoff. For example, in the commercial world, if I'm taking off a fixture, I know I'm going to be asked if I want conduit or cable mounting height, so I'll double click that option in the master variable list to add it to our phase variable list shown above. I also know that if I'm taking off a of commercial fixture, I'll likely be asked the fixture mounting height, so I'll add that to the above phase variable list as well. If I'm taking off devices, I'll typically expect to need two wire cable length, so I'll double click and add that to the top list. Anytime that I am dealing with wire, I'll normally expect to define the number of wires in the pole, so I'll double click it to take that from our master variable list and add it to our phase variable list. The previous examples are mainly for the commercial side of the electrical industry, but we would follow these steps when taking off anything. We'll add two more variables real quick. Now, if we need to find a variable but can't locate it in the list, you can search for it instead. 
The search bar in the master variable list can be found at the top of the list and is the bar directly below the description column header. For example, if using chain, then I know that I'll be asked about how much I need. So I can type chain in the search box and then boom, the chain length variable appears. I'll double click to add that to the top phase variable list. As another example, if I want to find variables that feature the word height, then I'll type height in the search bar and all of the variables with height in the name will display. Once we've chosen all of our variables by adding them to the top phase variable list, then we assign a value to each list item. I'll do that real quick. Once all of my variables have an assigned value, I'll click the Apply to Selected Phases button below the list. Notice that I did not check the box to update all new jobs. That is because any new jobs that I create may not follow this particular spec. With all of that set up, we'll move back to the takeoff module. Remember, when in the takeoff screen, everything at the bottom of the screen is a single click. We'll go ahead and take off a fixture, and in this case, a fixture assembly with branch, so we'll single click that option. We'll also say that it is on the bar joist using 3 quarter EMT, so we'll single click that. And finally, We'll say it is an LED 2x4, so we'll single click that. Next, in the assembly groups window that pops up, we can see that all of our defaults are already checked. That's great, because it shows that what we set up earlier worked. Those settings will now be active throughout the rest of this job. Of course, if we need to go ahead and uncheck any of those assembly group options, we can do that too. Thanks for watching this Conest tip video. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get more tips and to keep up to date with Kana software systems.